inch and a half, inch and three eighths, inch and an eighth. Okay, project hand right now is I'm making a counterweight for the back of the tractor so I can pick stuff up with the front that's a little bit heavier without having to have a big attachment on it. So this used to be my burn barrel, but I'm going to go ahead and I shoved a rod through there. It is an inch and an eighth, which is the same size as a category two pin. So I'll have a little bit on the outside, put a hole through it so that one of those glass pins can go through it. Something like that there. And then I will have some rectangular tubing um, come up out of here that's got a hole through it that will then attach to the top link. Then this will be filled with cement, which will equal around 1,100 pounds. We put a bevel all the way around that. That's what I wanted to do. It should close fully. Probably could have went the three quarter to the outside. a little bit off that edge did what I needed it to. Can't go both ways.
try and get that bend out of there later, I guess. So from the highest we can go, about 28 inches. So it's gonna be 28 and a half center to center. We'll just say 29 center to center. This is the bottom, so we want two inches from there. In the center of three is one and a half. This doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so I've got everything tacked up. Got some tack welds here so this doesn't slide back and forth on both sides. I got this centerpiece tack welded on there and I got this tack welded onto here, roughly straight up and down. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it on the tractor and we'll test it going up and down. Okay, so I'm glad that I checked that before actually welding everything up. So as you can see, there's a slight forward angle. So now we can actually test the thing. And that right there is all the way down, so when I take it off, I can put a couple blocks of wood and then that'll be good enough, especially if I'm not on level ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld everything up the best that I can with the location that it's in. I'll be able to get all of this here, this vertical, this one. I just won't be able to get up underneath of there, but that should be fine. There, I should be able to get all the way around there. Might have to get the stick out for the inside, if I even do the inside. And then this here, we can flip the whole barrel over. Okay, so now I'm gonna make some caps for this. But I gotta get a new pin that'll go all the way through first.
Okay, I'll paint the rest of this later. Um, I just wanted to get quite a bit of it done. Uh, the spots that are new like that, this is all new metal that's going to be exposed in there. I'm not too worried about it. It's going to be covered with concrete. I really only went down to here too with it, so cement will come up to about here. Just wanted to get everywhere that's going to be exposed. So now we are ready for concrete. Okay, so got this out back. Got my 12 bags of concrete. So now I get to spend the next little bit mixing it all by hand, shoveling it in there. Um, it was about 12 and a half to get it all the way up here, but I figured with this in here and I don't want to fill it all the way, 12 should be good enough. So I will come back to you whenever I get that done. Okay, well, it's the next day. And it's still a little wet, but the, t but the top is hardened up, so I think I'm good to be able to pick the whole thing up now. So let's see if it breaks, I guess. It's, it's levitating above the ground a little bit, I think. Maybe not. Maybe not here in the front, but I guess we'll see if it breaks. Okay, I think that turned out well enough. I don't think that bar is bending at all. Well, only time will tell. Perfect. So when it's all the way down, it sits on the ground, takes the weight off the back of the tractor. Overall, I'm about probably 175 bucks into the whole thing. So that's not too bad for a counterweight. What I could have probably done is bought an attachment that's about a thousand pounds, but this here takes up so much less space and is a lot cheaper. So that's the end of this one. Let's go work on something else.